everybody, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me for a new tutorial. And today I have a fun watercolored card featuring our Simon exclusive Susie Plantamura watercoloring prints. I'm gonna be coloring this birthday image, which is a cute little llama. And he is so much fun because he's got a really adorable face. And I love the style of Susie's prints. So I'm gonna be watercoloring this entire card using some Prima and Daniel Smith watercolors. I have a custom palette that I've created featuring many of my favorites of each of those brands. So I want this llama to have some furry texture and I want the fur to look dimensional and fluffy. In order to achieve that, I wanna make sure I focus the shading that I'm adding only under the areas where the fur is sticking up. And I'm also going to add it around the edges of the llama. If I were to add it any other way, the llama would look a little bit more flat and that's not the look I'm going for. I'm using a bluish color, which really gives this llama a fun, colorful feel without it looking completely blue. When it dries, the llama does look white. However, the blue shading gives it a more fun feel, which I think looks really cool. So most of this critter is of course a very furry llama. However, there are some other areas that need to have some color. So for his legs, I used a really dark blackish brown color. I added a little bit of pink to his ears. And then for the face, I'm going to have more of a creamier color and bring in a little bit of pink down towards the bottom. And I really faded those colors together to give a really nice seamless transition between the two. On the llama, there's a cute little blanket and a stack of presents. And I wanted something really colorful and happy because of course this is a birthday card. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some bright colorful colors onto not only the blanket but also the presents too. I used a rainbow of colors and tried to match them really well with the colors in the Lawn Fawn Really Rainbow Pattern Paper Collection. I really love the colors of that pattern paper and I'm gonna be using it behind this card panel. So I wanna make sure that I have all of those colors matching so that everything looks really seamless in the end. I also love the look of splatters. So I'm gonna be very careful with adding these splatters because I want them in more strategic areas. So I'm using a slightly smaller brush and kind of focusing those colors in the areas that I want them and I'm doing it very slowly and gently so things don't get too crazy. I'm going to enhance that splattery effect by bringing in some colorful sequins from Simon's stamp, and I'm gonna sprinkle these around the card. You can see I've already put that Lawn Fawn pattern paper onto an A2 card base, and I trimmed this panel down with the Simon's stamp stitched rectangle die set. This gives the card a really nice finishing touch, but if you didn't even wanna go that far with this step, you could go ahead and just attach this entire panel that you colored right onto an A2 card and be done just like that. It's really simple and easy to create fun and gorgeous cards using the Suzy Plantamura watercolor prints. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you will stop back very soon for more inspiration. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye.